is going on, feisty Pisces? Welcome to your weekly read. We're going to grab a spirit says message, guys. Before we get started, everybody, please give this video a thumbs up. Support your girl. Appreciate you. If you're new and you're digging this vibe at any time, please hit that subscribe. If this is more than your second time, you're a part of the tribe. You too should be subscribing. Everybody, make sure your notifications on so you know when these videos premiere. If your girl happens to go live, I am open for personal readings. You can book on my website. That is listed in the description box below. Pisces, let's go. Um, you have a fraud, a fraud around you, okay? Somebody can wear braids, box braids, or cornrows. You are the person, okay? Um, but somebody is trying to test your faith, test your gangsta, okay? Somebody is trying to steer you the wrong way, okay? They do a lot of shady things behind your back, okay? Yeah, they trying to, like, place illusions on a, a master illusionist, okay? And somebody secretly hates on your relationship. Somebody secretly hates on the way that you move, and somebody wants to restrict you. Somebody wants your relationship to come crashing and burning down, Somebody doesn't like that you're beautiful either. Somebody hates your beauty. We got a Taurus here, okay? Venusian energy. You have Taurus in your chart, all right? Let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what signs and placements are Pisces dealing with in regards to this read? What signs and placements are Pisces dealing with? Divine Holy Spirit in regards to this read. Ooh. Another Pisces. Okay. A Libra. Something with Libra season could be happening, okay? Taurus again underneath the deck. <clears throat> One more. One more. Sign the placement that Pisces dealing with this week. Oh, my Holy Spirit. Oh, y'all got two more. You have Aries. Could be a Pisces Aries cusp. And then we have Saturn, Karma. Underneath the deck, Aquarius. Upon eight, being able to detach from a situation. Somebody's birthday could be in November, December, July, or January. Somebody could be born on 11th, 12th, 7th, 1st, or the 19th. You could be seeing 111. You could be seeing 112. You could be seeing 119. You could be seeing 117. I feel like, like I said, somebody was trying to could could have been trying to cast illusions over you, Pisces, the dreamer, the biggest illusion illusionist. Somebody wants you to become extra delusional, but I feel like things are balancing out. Like this is somebody who's trying to definitely come in and control a situation or control you. This could be a father figure. This could be a boss. I'm hearing a tyrant, okay? But you set yourself free, and I feel like because you set yourself free, you're not caught up in this delusion that everybody thinks you are. Like I feel like you could be playing dumb, like a dumb blonde, right? But you being in this, like, your natural Delulu state really has people thinking that whatever it is that they're trying to place on you or do to you is working. And it's not like karma's about to sneak in and do something vicious today, ass. Sorry, I know I gotta write the stuff down. Okay. So I'll be forgetting stuff. So, let's start with the Kipperish deck. Shout out to Intuitive Kev for a beautiful deck. You can cop it on his Etsy. If you are a reader or a collector of sorts or you just like pretty things, this is a very gorgeous deck filled with a lot of knowledge, right? A lot of messages here. Um, so I highly recommend it. Again, big shout out to Intuitive Kev for dropping something that I feel like should be in everybody's collection, okay? But there's a community out here, Pisces. Yep, trying to attack you. And I'm saying, but again... It's like they keep trying to use their energy on you. I don't know if somebody doesn't realize that you're a Pisces. Maybe somebody thinks you're an Aries or something like that and not realize that you're really a Pisces or something. I don't know. It's kind of giving that. Yeah, the veil, 65. Secret tendency to other side. Okay. What's going on? I heard altered, altered birth chart. 
I don't know. Some of you could be finding out that you're really uh, not a Pisces. You could be really an Aries or you're not an Aries and you're really a Pisces. And that's why you're drawn to like Piscean energy or something like that. Okay. But you could be dealing with a Pisces, Libra, Aries, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Saturn placement. All right. So let's see, Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for Pisces? Bliss. Your love, you are loving. 45 could be somebody's age. What we got? What we got for Pisces? Two more. Thank you. So we have high honor, 25, commitment, three, which is uh, Libra Taurus energy. Okay. But this card and image itself gives me the lover's vibe. So Gemini. Okay. I feel like you could be in like, you could be in a relationship that everybody admires, okay? Or there could be some sort of um, commitment that's coming towards you that's going to be recognized by a lot of people around you. I feel like this could be what people are, uh, they're also trying to block and control here or stop this from happening, okay? But it's coming in anyway. Yeah, ritual, 44. Somebody was definitely trying to stop this. Family here, 21, Okay. The wild card. They was trying to end this. This could have been your own family. People in your community. <sighs> yeah, Flying Monkey, 68. Breaks down to a 14. Breaks all the way down to a 5. Yeah, this could have been your own family trying to block this commitment or trying to stop this level up from happening for you. Yeah, 53, 8, Star Seed. Whatever this is, it's going to bring in a lot of abundance. And it's not just in finances. Okay, yeah, high honor, yeah. This is the Divine Masculine who's coming in. Somebody that you're going to live with, have a house with, okay. Virgo, Gemini, Magician, Energy, Judgment, Scorpio, Capricorn, Libra. Saturn. <clears throat> Karma's going to come back and hit these people because this masculine is still coming into you. I feel like people have tried to separate y'all as well. Like I said, that Aries energy could be a masculine. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be somebody who's controlling. I feel like that's what the justice is. This person could be coming in during Libra season. Okay, like September 19th, like end of Virgo, right as you go into Libra season, okay, cusping, but somebody could definitely be coming in, moving in with you or something like that, and I feel like family has been trying to stop this, prevent this person from getting close to you, yeah, animosity, 79, there's a lot of hate around what this dynamic can bring, yeah, a lot of ascension, 98, y'all are a powerful couple, y'all are a power couple, a lot of powerful energy between the two of you guys 46 faith and it's crazy because on the top here of the spirit says that we have faith believe in god's promise and i feel like because you believe in god like this is your god ordained spouse like god has presented you with this relationship because he knows what the two of you can do together it's powerful like you both are on a mission together you both have a a higher mission to accomplish your divine masculine is pulling up. What's this ritual about? There's a nice guy. Somebody who tried to play like they're a nice guy. Who really cares about you. Yeah, they act like they're in love with you. But they're doing rituals. 61. Somebody could even be trying to get close. To, like love bombing you. Somebody could be trying to come in and love bond you, bomb, bond you. Somebody's trying to bind themselves to you. Or trauma bond. They act like they're nice. They're really not that nice. Bliss 45. Yeah, 80s because you're a healer. I heard somebody does it for sport, okay? I don't know why I got boxer, like a boxer here, but somebody does it for sport. They like to come and try to beat on you or do these rituals on you to see if you can heal, if you can get through this. See if they, like, okay, we're going to try to close off their heart chakra and make them hate people. We're going to send in this guy and make them hate love. But it's like you always heal or like you heal these guys. These um nice guys, I feel like they're not really nice guys, right? But they come in like they're nice people. But once they get a piece of you or like they get into your energy or whatever, it's like you heal them and they come back a different person. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, mature me. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, it's like you help people, you help them elevate and grow. Like they grow up and be like, you know what? I don't want to go over there and mess with Pisces. Like they come over and try to like cast an illusion, right? 61 breaks down to a seven. I'm thinking seven of cups. They come and they try to cast this illusion over you and like try to love bomb you or whatever. But it's like you flip it and you reverse it. And then it's like this person just comes out more mature. Or I don't know. It's like they age from trying to fuck with you or something like that. <laughs> Like, your healing touch, like, reveals who they truly are, and they come out looking all, like, whatever. Like, they can't face themselves in a mirror. 
And they realize that they're a terrible person. They're really not a nice guy. And they just like start looking old and shit like that. I don't know. What's up with the family though? That, yeah, the family, the community, the family. They're the ones who's out here sending these love spells. Yeah. Trying to kind of uh, copies, lookalikes or something like that. Because, again, th this also could be trying to go towards a divine masculine as well. And trying to send, like, a divine feminine lookalike. Because I feel like divine feminine represents, like, the bliss. And this is more of the karmic with the enamor. Because it's giving me, like, love spell. Like, somebody be highly infatuated with somebody, right? And that's a 63. That breaks down to a 9 as well. And this 45 breaks down to a 9. So, it's like they were sending in people to, like, try to get you stuck, right? Make you fall in love. Like I said, love bomb you. But it's like once they get in your energy, it's like you heal them or like your light shines so bright. Like they have no choice but to reveal who they truly are. Like I said, these folks start like looking old or like they're it's Mother Gothel energy. Yeah. Intuition. 87. Like they want that they were trying to cast some sort of illusion. Fuck with your intuition. Yeah. Look. And now look, the the karmic. OK, they're they done got old. They look old as fuck. Right. Six Gemini energy. But they look old as fuck. 85 from giving you the evil eye. From trying to set you up. Send this to you. This could also be an older person. Like an older sibling. An aunt. A mother. Yeah. And they're like highly surprised. That like things are still working out. Or at the end of the day. Like their mask falls off. And it shows that. um Like with the Ursula shit. And how she had like you know. Tried to destiny swap. And she had put on that image of. of I think her name was. Veronica or Victoria. Something like that. I don't know. But she put on that fake image of a beautiful girl. But then it's like when when Ariel broke the curse or whatever, she got pissed off and they saw that she was really Ursula. Like, it's like that. This person tries to pop up, like, in this image of this enamor. But in reality, like, when shit hit the fan, they're really, like, old and wrinkly. Like, this could be somebody who also wears, like, a lot of makeup. Okay? They wear a lot of wigs and stuff. Um, I heard waist trainers, waist snatchers, bodies. Like, they even form their body up. Okay, like when they get home, it's like opening up a can of biscuits or some shit. I heard. What's flying monkey? It's fair. We not we not about to do that. We're not going that deep. What's flying monkey? Yeah, they were trying to steal your gifts, your ability to heal. Seventeen breaks down to an eight. Somebody didn't like how you were able to heal yourself and heal others around you, and how you're able to still ascend and get these things here. Yeah, 69. Somebody's really hoping that they could have got bound themselves to you. There's some sort of sex magic or, you know, got these nice guys close into you. But, like, even with these nice guys, even if you suck with, like, one of these nice guys, like, your pum pum are healing them. Feel me? And it's like they just wake up and say, oh, my gosh. Or, it's, like, they don't know how to handle it. I don't know why. <sighs> Something about a heart attack. We're going to leave it there. We're going to keep moving. Yeah, it's a community here. It's a bunch of people. It's a lot of folks who are trying to do this and stop you. Like, they just don't want to see you elevate. Look, what I said. Karmic Feminine. Told you. Karmic Feminine. She got a whole community to work up and do this. Or like I said, this could be somebody that um that's like a part of your family. And they got other people in the community to like come up against you and shit like that. But don't worry. They do it behind you because they can't get ahead of you. You're still ascending regardless. God is still like bringing this energy towards you. Somebody could drive a Subaru. I'm going to go through that because I shuffle these decks so much before I come on. And I still want to shuffle tirelessly. No, we're not doing that. Yeah, it's about some sort of inheritance here. I told you this house, this wealth, this divine masculine, this commitment. You ascending. Yeah, Saturday, Saturn. Somebody's getting karma. Oh, what was underneath that? For being jealous and envious. Mm -hmm. Of a very important person that you are, collective. Or Pisces. Because we're reading for Pisces. But, I mean, Pisces collective, whatever, right? Yeah, somebody was definitely trying to do this and take it from you. They are trying to take from you. Or, again, this nice guy, they could even try to send this nice guy in to take it from you. And I feel like you could have even willingly gave it to this person. And it knocked their socks off. Like, they don't know what the heck to do yeah karmic confession i check your social medias first thing in the morning to get ideas for my own life yeah this is this person who's trying to this karmic feminine who's trying to put on an image like they're like you or something like that or trying to steal your image and make you out to be some type of like slore or something like that what's at the top of this one 10 10 it's a motherfucking end though like, it is a motherfucking end. Yeah, move forward. Just keep swimming, okay? Something about Finding Nemo, Pixar, okay? Or oh, this shit is like a movie. 
what else does Pisces need to know? Oh, thank you. That was quick and easy. Yeah, this energy that they were sending towards you to end you. Yeah, that wasn't a good look by far because somebody's going to jail. Whether this is spiritual jail, which is definitely that, mental jail or physical jail. This person is about to be trapped, dumb and all these flying freaking monkeys. Yeah, lightning and thunder, a tower's coming down because you bad as shit. These people is really trying to hold you hostage in a rope. A rope and duct tape situation, but they they not gonna get what they want. Trying to do this ritual on you. These people are envious, okay, greedy, okay, um, and it's crazy because it's karmic feminine and this has on a green dress, okay. Like this person could have green eyes as well. Somebody could drive a green car, all right. But this is all about money, about wealth. This person sitting up here crying a river right now. They they're gonna be crying even harder in the next forty in the next twenty four hours. I said forty eight, so it could be forty eight hours for some of you. But the next twenty four hours, we step into that lion's gate. Whatever they were trying to do, it senses you is not gonna work. Something's about to come down. I don't know why I feel like you're gonna receive like some sort of big blessing or something because they were trying to block something that was about to show up to you. That's about to come towards you. What else does Pisces need to know, Divine Holy Spirit? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know in regards to this message for this week? In regards to this spread? What else does Pisces need to know? I'm not going to trip. Thank you. I'm, about to say, I'm not going to trip if you give a big big stack. Yeah, there's a barber situation. A barber and Shirley. This karmic. She want to call you up and, oh, you, girl, go sit down. Go sit down. You want the man. Look, you, you. Come get this nice guy that you keep trying to send, okay? Somebody could be a Sag or a Capricorn, something about December, about a gift coming into you, okay? Something that you worked hard for, something that you are passionate about. Sacral chakra, okay? Like I said, somebody else could be trying to come in and attach themselves through sex to your root chakra here, okay? But I also feel like, you know, okay, then we got Divine Masculine right here. Okay, this Divine Masculine who's coming in, right? We already seen him who's coming to your house. It's like when you guys come together, like... When y'all finish, y'all both manifest, manifest, I'm about to say manifest, manifest like something beautiful out of y'all energy. Like y'all both produce like this big healing power and it's like it radiates. Like y'all produce so much of it when you guys are intimate that it just like radiates off into the universe for like, and it's like up for grabs. Like it's just positive energy that other people can just use. Like y'all just radiate it out into the universe. And this is why this person doesn't want this to happen because it's like every time y'all touch, it's like... The vibration raises just a little bit more, like, and they don't like that, okay? Somebody definitely could be attacking your sacral and your root chakra, okay? Like, they don't want to see, they don't want you to make the right decisions, and somebody could be doing this to a divine masculine because they don't want them to come towards you, okay? That's why they keep trying to send in all these other people to, like, block you and have sex with you and stuff like that to, like, get you unbalanced, and put you in a position where this divine masculine is not going to want to come in towards you. But I feel like you're not necessarily, you're not sleeping with these people. Maybe you might have stuck with one person. But even still, if that happened, like this person walked away hill and knew not to fuck with you no more. Like it was, I don't know, I heard you got that Erica Badu or something like that. Like, I don't know. But <clears throat> yeah, we got a school van here, okay, and a Dodge. I don't know why I see an accident happening with that, okay, be careful. Okay, for better or for worse, until death, mm -hmm. do us part. You started with a canvas and we turned into some art. Yeah, so us versus the world. I don't know why I'm getting, because I just said an accident. And then again, we have this here, right? Somebody was doing this. And then that death till death do us part. Like somebody was willing to sacrifice. Like somebody honestly didn't feel like it would ricochet. They thought that, you know, like I said, they could cast this illusion on you, Pisces, and that it would work. But it's like, I feel like somebody nonetheless was risky enough and prepared for that backlash. So somebody could be getting in an accident. Somebody could drive a Dodge. Somebody could drive a, uh, drive school vans or, again, run into a school van or something like that. I don't know why I heard a parked car. Somebody's like going to run into a parked car or something like that. But you're all I need. One mind, one heart, one love. Here I am. We're undefeated until the end of time. Okay. And yeah, these people need to get a hobby because they're really trying to bind and attach themselves to your energy. Like they need a hobby. There's a Ken here or a Kenny. Um, they killed Kenny. Okay. But this also could be like, you know, a Ken doll, like divine masculine, your stud, right? What is this? I want to be with you and only you. Mm -hmm. We got a Puerto, Puerto Rico out here. Somebody could be Puerto Rican or when I went there. This person could be highly religious. Okay. Somebody could drive an Accord as well. 
Um, they're tracking their IP addresses. So these are people who are trying to hack into your stuff too. Some of these trolls, again, I said fraud. <clears throat> Somebody's doing some fraud here and they think that they're hiding like by like deleting their history background or, you know, I don't know if they're using different devices or whatever, but they're being tracked nonetheless. Yeah, somebody could drive a Hyundai. Okay, yeah. It, it, this is being divinely... This is supposed to happen this way. With the, the divine guidance. This is supposed to happen this way. Okay, somebody could be from New Eng England. Or again, because somebody is just real fucking bitter. Like, this is supposed to happen. It's time for this to be revealed here. Because they're, they're taking it too far and they're doing way too much. Yeah, the judge is here. That's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They're here. Yeah, look at this. Shit about to hit the fan. Somebody, again, we, we already saw that they're going to jail. Somebody's going to jail, okay? This could be spiritual jail. Like I said, somebody could literally be going to physical jail or people could be finding out how crazy this person is and they could be going to a mental jail, okay? Yeah, again, somebody is speeding. Somebody, is, is, there's a car accident here. Doing 80 and a 60 fucking ticket, like some <laughs> the full moon, okay? <laughs> okay? Yeah, restraining order, I'm telling you. There's a lot of like true legalities here, like true court shit that's happened. So Pisces, don't worry. Just pick up your feelings because these people, they done did it to themselves. You know what? And this is somebody who could also be competing, like they're competing with you over a man or something like that. And mm, it's tacky. It's tacky. Somebody got hazel eyes. These characteristics could be yours or the people that are involved. I include you in these characteristics so that way it can be just more confirmation that this is your message, okay? Somebody could have large ears. Somebody has perfect teeth. And they're like real teeth, not fake teeth. Like they actually have like a good smile. Somebody rocks Converse. Somebody rocks the comb over. One more shuffle. Somebody has big full lips. All right. Fine, Holy Spirit. Let's get some of these uh, characteristics for Pisces. Characteristics for Pisces. Describe. Describe. Somebody could wear glam makeup. Voicemail. Missed a call. Oh, I did. I called him back. Uh, dark brown eyes. Somebody could have dark brown eyes. Somebody could have gray or white hair. Somebody could wear Converse. Um, that's double confirmation on that. Somebody has halitosis. Okay, somebody has a crooked smile. This crooked smile person could have halitosis. Okay, somebody has a back tattoo. All right. Somebody could have halitosis and another person could have a crooked smile. Somebody rock full locks. We got some full locks going on right now. Okay. Somebody has oily skin. Somebody's below five feet. Could be a child involved here. Somebody likes rock and cultural, just somebody who's very short. Somebody has small ears. Somebody has gray eyes. Somebody has personal piercings, um, one that's below the waist, wink, wink. Okay, somebody has a pointed nose. Somebody can rock K-Swiss. Somebody has polished nails. Somebody has bad body odor. Okay, so bad breath and bad body odor. Somebody has an ankle or foot tattoo. Mm, okay. <sighs> yeah, the chick who's trying to enamor people. They really got bad body odor. They wear all this makeup to try to cover up what they really look like. Wigs and shit. They probably... Okay, never mind. I, I, I see where it's at, spirit. Thank you. Let's get this stuff up out the way so it's less... Less is more. Pick up some of these before I get into this next deck. Or technically the last one before I pull your final oracle. Close your haters one last time. Yeah, they're spying spying on you as a part of their daily routine. Yeah, because they have to um try to copy you. Yeah, they constantly convince people that they're this and that. I told you. This is the bad body odor person who wears a lot of makeup, a lot of perfume and shit to cover up. They wear all wigs and everything and 
whatever. Um, lavender sage, though, clears away negative thoughts, energies, harmonizes the mind, enhances intuition, and inspires loving feelings. This person can also want you to have, like, low self-esteem about yourself because they have it about themselves. I can't make it up. Low self-esteem. Their envy and inferior towards you stems from rooted childhood wounds, okay? So, let's see. What else, spirit? You need to take a spiritual bath here, collective, okay? Because this, this person is very toxic. Or should this person needs to just take a bath, period. We already saw they have bad body odor. But this person is toxic. They're drunk. They could smell like liquor, okay? Or they're overindulged in, like, heavy drugs. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Confirmation. Think somebody could snort, okay? Because, like, my nose really... Somebody could snort, okay? And it's crazy how she's, like, holding her nose. Somebody snorts. Somebody also, when they high on drugs, they do weird shit or they do wild stuff. Like somebody fucks with the same sex when they're heavily indulged, like overindulging. Like they mess with the same sex, but on a regular sober day, they wouldn't. They wouldn't want to admit this to nobody either. They don't want people to know about this toxic lifestyle. Anyway, this is somebody who's envious of your career and the money that you make. Okay, yeah, this is a comp somebody who's competing with you. Always trying to one-up you, but it's a one-sided competition. You're not even worried about this person. Like I said, they're trying to cast an illusion on Houdini. Like, this is dumb. Yeah, and they're trying to recruit haters. Like I said, they're trying to send people towards you, but you be healing these fuckers and sending them right back to them. These people be, like, scared of you. Yeah, Jupiter retrograde, okay? This is somebody who has problems with making important life changes for the future. They don't um know how to expand. They're not abundant. They're not prosperous, Okay. That bad luck, the will of for retrograde, that's like the will being in reverse. The will is not working in their favor. You need to recharge your energy and, and distance yourself from these people or this person. What else? Expose the hater. Expose the hater. Yeah, you need to keep a protection pouch on or with you at all times. We already know that this person is sending the death magic. Okay. Again, it's coming back out. Second time showing up. This is really to let you know that they spying on you is a part of their daily routine. They watch you every day. Every day to see what you got going on. Yeah, and then they will play victim once they know that they're losing, which they're, they're constantly doing. And then they get back up and watch you again to see what else you got going on and try to copy that and compete with that. And then when they lose again or whatever, then they have this whole victim mentality. Yeah, you need to hang a dream catcher, Pisces. Again, because this could be another Pisces, but again, they're messing with your dream state. They're trying to tamper with you, tap in and see what you got going on. Yeah, tricks the spirit. Okay, they could even be trying to cause you to have some sort of memory loss so that way you can miss out on opportunities. So that's why you definitely need to have that dream catcher because they could be trying to wipe your dreams. Yeah, and then they talk about you behind your back. This is a clown. They're clown for real. Okay, yeah, again, and then play victim once they know that they're losing. And go run their mouth talking shit about you because they've lost. So let's get your spirit oracle message. And then that will be it, Pisces. Oh, y'all stay with them underneath at least the 30 minutes. Go, Pisces. <laughs> Divine Holy Spirit. Oh, y'all got two. Testing me. When there are questions you need assistance with, go inward. Sit with yourself. Meditate on the question. Ask for your help. Ask for our help. Then trust your intuition as most often the answer and guidance will be delivered to you intuitively. We w are with you always. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Somebody keeps trying to put you on illusion or like fuck with your dream state or whatever. And it's like you rule that though. Like I said, this could also just be another Pisces who's doing this as well. But they're like very karmic. They're karmic as fuck. It's copycat. It's like somebody trying to copy you. Like this person may really be an Aries, but they're trying to come off like they're a Pisces. But you're about to receive this justice because karma is about to fall back on this person. When the door doesn't open, don't waste your energy trying to make it open. It is closed for a reason. You are being redirected to something far bigger and better. Endings are a part of the cycle of life. They make way for wonderful new beginnings and opportunities. All right, Pisces, underneath the deck. If you pay close attention, you will notice all the doors that once closed are opening up, just in different form. Things may not appear exactly as you had envisioned. So, Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. I hope it helped. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. It's deeply appreciated. I love the support. I love you all. Right? And as always, I love your face, but not more than I love you. So until the next time we speak, peace out.